guys, Jack Bennett here. Thanks for tuning into the lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you the uh, rhythmic permutation concept that I was actually just playing there at the start of the video. Basically, rhythmic permutations and, and using them uh, within your drum kit playing uh, are a fantastic way of almost exponentially uh, expanding your vocab around the instrument. And so what we do is we take a rhythmic sequence, a combination of hands and feet, and in this instance, I was just playing a 16th note figure going right, left, right, foot with the bass drum, and I was playing it clockwise around the kit. And the first way that I played it within 16th notes was just a fairly standard way of just going... And then just playing a bar of time. Always playing a bar of time and then the fill just to really get the transitions happening from, uh, from each. So that's one way that you could play it. Now what a lot of people will do is after they've learnt that initial fill, they'll go, okay, great, I've learned that fill, now it's time for me to learn a new fill or another fill. And they'll go away and they'll either you know, figure it out themselves or transcribe it or read it in a magazine or whatever. But really what you should do is if you've bothered to learn that sticking pattern and you've got that under your hands and feet and you can finally play it, is try and get the most mileage that you can out of it before bothering to learn something new because you've already invested the time, you might as well get the, uh, you may as well get the most mileage out of it. So what we do with the rhythmic permutation is we take the subdivision that we're in and in this instance we're using 16th notes so it was 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 we take that and without changing the order the actual sticking uh, and bass drum sequence at all we just shift it across by 1 16th note and play the exact same thing but it means that the right hand that first right hand then starts on the next subdivision so instead of starting on 1 it starts on 1 E Okay, and because the last note, one E and A, uh, the A, uh, the fourth sixteenth of each beat was uh, landing on the bass drum, it's now pushed across to the next numbered beat. So we now get one E and A, uh, two E and A, uh, three E and A, uh, four E and A, uh, one. That would sound like this. instead of the first one, which was So that would then be the second way of playing that fill. Now this is something that I do uh, an entire section, a really, really big section on in rudiments around the kit around Australia, which we're uh, filming and chopping up at the moment for uh, the new 2.0 version. Um, this is just using one pattern and we do it with heaps and heaps. Okay, so let's continue this on now. We're going to get uh, four variations. So now let's shift that right, left, right foot across to the next subdivision. So we've done one, one E, one E and. We're going to play the first right hand on one and. So we go like this. Two, three, four, one, And you'll notice because we're shifting it across each time, I am going to fill in the first few notes until we get to that first right hand, usually with combinations of bass drum and some ghost notes, uh, typically with the left hand. So again, that'd be more like this. Again. Okay, and you don't just have to go clockwise, I'm just doing that to keep it uh, nice and structured at the start so you can sort of take it in as it, as it sounds like a phrase, but you can put it anywhere you like. Let's continue on, we'll go for the last variation now, 1, E and A, uh, the 4th 16th note of beat 1, the A uh, 16th, we're going to start that with the right hand, and I'll probably put a bass drum and two soft lefts on the front of it. Okay, so once again, I'll just go through them all. With the easy beats, we'll have the three cameras and we'll have the notation reading underneath. Okay, check it out. That is using permutation concept within a really basic right, left, right, rock, funk, 16th note fill. Heaps of them on rudiments around the kid around Australia. Enjoy.